So hey guys, welcome back to uh so hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl just and today you guys on my channel. I'll be talking about spiritual solitude, you guys. Before I even get into like the video deeply and everything else, you guys, I actually want to talk about spiritual solitude and what spiritual solitude means to me. Um <clears throat> I believe, in my personal opinion, that we are spirit, mind, and body. Whatever our spirit is feeling, that's what our mind will do. And whatever our mind will do, our bodies will follow. That's just my opinion. That's how I feel. I might be wrong. I might be right. Who knows? You know. But this is, uh, whatever. This is me. This is this is my damn video. I don't have to say a quick disclaimer. I might be wrong. Bitch, I might be wrong. You can take it or leave it. Fuck that. Um. So, spiritual solitude for me is going into your spirit and you know being by yourself spiritually and when you are by yourself spiritually like i said you become by yourself mentally and physically like there is no like there is no sex there is no boyfriend there is no lover it is just you yourself and you know just you me myself and night that's what i thought you know, that that's what that is okay so that's what spiritual solitude is being alone and by yourself and I believe that everybody should be able to go through spiritual solitude because spiritual solitude will help you understand you more and be a better you and how to get further in life. I know a lot of people are like, well, what, well, what if I don't ever go through spiritual solitude? Your body will send you into spiritual solitude when it is needed. And I know a lot of people are like, what is spiritual solitude when it's needed? Yes, people go through spiritual solitude all the time. And when I say people go through spiritual solitude all the time, like people literally get up and like their body will send them into spiritual solitude because my body sent me into spiritual solitude when <laughs> at the most inopportune time for me, which I thought was very inopportune. <clears throat> so yeah, let's get into that. Um. Okay, so now that I've talked about what is spiritual solitude and, you know, I think I, I think I got the basics out of spiritual solitude. And if I haven't, I'll just go back over it again. Um, let's just talk about how I fell into spiritual solitude. Um, I remember one day I was just, you know, I thought I was like on top of my game. Um, it was it came at a time when I was really like stressed the hell out. And when I say I was stressed, like, honey, I was losing my edges. Like my edges are just coming back. Oh my gosh, I didn't lay down my edges today. Both of it. So basically, I was I was having, I was really stressed, and I really thought like I was doing something. Like I had the job, the opportune job was part time, but I was making money like I was full time, and you know it wasn't like it wasn't a lot of money, but it wasn't a little bit either. It was like above minimum wage, but it wasn't like oh, we got it, sis. You know, and I was getting paid to go to work. And, you know, like, I would receive full-time checks. So, for me at the time, I was like, ah, this is lit. 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 You know, and I was going through a lot of stuff, and I really thought I was handling it. But, as per usual, I was wrong. And in my wrongness, I ended up going into spiritual solitude, you guys. And spiritual solitude scared the hell out of me. Because... I ended up, while I was in my spiritual solitude, losing my job, right? Losing the good boyfriend that I thought I had, you know? You know, being betrayed by family and everything else and, you know, being backstabbed by coworkers and just a lot of, like, a lot of stuff had them happen and conspired and I felt like I lost everything, and at that moment, I felt like I lost everything. My mind, my body, and everything went to being alone. And I, at first, it scared the fuck out of me. Because I was like, I need somebody around me. I need to be around this person, that person. I need to be on the move. I need to, you know. I felt like I had to be doing something. But when I accidentally stepped into spiritual solitude, I could not do nothing. Like, literally, if it involved other people, I was like, man, like, fuck out of here, yo. Like, I'm good, love. Enjoy. Like, get this shit away from me. And it wasn't, you know, until I embraced 
the being alone and being by myself. I had to face the woman or the man in the mirror, you guys. I had to face myself, like, for who I was, like, literally. And I had to deal with trauma, right? And I'm not talking about the trauma that I dealt with. I'm talking about trauma that was recently happened that I did not deal with. I had to deal with emotions. I had to deal with everything. I had to deal with so much. And it scared me because I don't want to look at the person who I was becoming because I didn't like the person that I saw in the mirror. And spiritual solitude made me look at the person that was in the mirror and build her back up to the person that I see today when I look in the mirror. Because I was so hurt, you guys. I was so hurt and I was operating out of hurt. And spiritual solitude, like, took me through the whole healing process. And I became naked and I became bare and I didn't have anything. And it just hurt me to my core because... It took everything in me just to get through spiritual solitude. I was angry. I was upset. I didn't want to be around nobody. I, I couldn't connect with people anymore. I had to distance myself from people. I had to be like, this can't happen. And I just had to be like literally by myself in spiritual solitude dealing with the person that I saw in the mirror. I'm not talking about like physical features. I'm talking about my spirit. And it made me be by myself, you know? And when I say it's scary because you never know, like, damn, how is this going to play out? Like, damn, how is that going to, what you call it? Like, damn, how is this, like, it's very scary. And a lot of people try to make it seem like, oh, it's not scary, it's easy, everybody can do it, yada, yada, yada. But no, like, my body literally forced itself in the spirit, spiritual solitude. And I know I fall stressed in how my body, like, forced itself in the spiritual solitude. And it made me deal with me. I was just like, woof. And I think I was in spiritual solitude for, like, a good month, two months before I got out of spiritual solitude. And... Once I got out of my spiritual solitude, I, I came back and I reconnected with the people that my spirit agreed with. Because before, I was hanging around a group of people who my spirit was not like, hey, <laughs> no, that's not the word Alice is. Like, <laughs> no, we're not doing that. <laughs> no, 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 no. And, you know, I connected with people who connected to my spirit. And the people who connected to my spirit, I hung on close to them. I was like, they're not going nowhere. Like, they're going to be with me forever. Like, no. You know, you know, I want to cling on to this person. And the people who I cling to after I came out of my spiritual solitude were not the people that I expected to cling to. And, you know, it shocked me because my spirit had showed me, like, who I really was. Like, clearly I know who I am. But, like, who I was on a spiritual level and how I was dealing with life and how life had just, like, broken down my spirit. And once I got my spirits back up and I, my spirit was, like, fit, like, like I may not be, like, the sexy six-pack woman, you know, you know, curvy, curvaceous woman, like, with the little ways thing, you know, what you call it. But, damn, my spirit is that, okay? My spirit is this fine-ass black woman, okay, with the hips, you know, slim thing, you know what I'm saying? them thing eating good you know I hear hips grown woman body you know and body you know just everything that you know like you know I'm all that like spiritually so therefore since I'm all that spiritually in my mind I'm all that so therefore in my body I'm all that and even though I may not have a little you know <laughs> slim waist honey you know I'm still the shit okay <laughs> you know and I think everybody should go through a phase of spiritual solitude because if I believe if everybody goes through a phase of spiritual solitude, we will all be a lot happier because spiritual solitude is just not for me. It's just not for you. It's for everybody. And I believe that in order to find our true selves, we should all at least go through spiritual solitude at least once or twice in our living. Like, if we're not going through spiritual solitude and we're not, you know, like, ooh, like, oh, I gotta be into spiritual solitude and everything else, like, you know, just finding our peace and where we fit in their life, then we're never gonna be happy. 
we're never going to be like, oh, man, I understand myself. And we're always going to feel like we need other people. When the truth of the matter is that we need to find our own spiritual solitude. Like, I recently went to spiritual solitude for, like, a good day. Not a day, but, like, three, four days a week. I went to a week of spiritual solitude, you guys. But this time, I put myself into spiritual solitude. Like, my like my spirit didn't force me to go into spiritual solitude, but I said I need to do a cleanse before 2019. So, I'm going to go. I'm probably going to go into another spiritual solitude for, like, the last two days of the year. And I'm just, like, really going to, like, flush 2018 out of my system. But, yeah, I've literally gone through spiritual solitude. And when I've gone through spiritual solitude, like, I haven't partied, I haven't drank, I didn't eat in excess amounts, you guys. I followed a diet regimen, everything. Like, me and my spiritual solitude are like this. And I had to get back to myself. So, I think that everybody should go through a spiritual solitude uh, of a place or a time where you just spend time by yourself spiritually, emotionally, and everything else. And even if you can't do it right now, you can't do it as long because you have kids and responsibilities and you have so much stuff going on, I feel like you should at least take a day or two or an hour out of your day and just spend time with your spirit alone. No phones, no music, no nothing. Just you, yourself, and you and work on it little by little because once you do that, you'll be so much happier. Literally. Period. So, you guys, that's just it. I just wanted to come on here and talk about spiritual solitude because that's very, like, you know, important to me. And I've gone through spiritual solitude, so I understand how some people could be like, oh, I don't want to go 